Hello guys, welcome back, Dimitri here. Today I want to show you again how to speed up your DayZ. I made a video about a year ago, maybe one and a half years ago. Uh, and in that video I showed you that you can enter some launch commands that can improve your FPS. Um, I showed you that uh, maybe upgrading your RAM instead of your SSD is going to stop the stuttering that you have. If you have 8 gigabytes of RAM it's gonna stutter. So you need at least 12 or 16 gigabytes for DayZ to run optimally, 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 whatever. So this is going to be a quick tutorial. I'm not going to bullshit you. This is uh, one of the um, fast. This is uh, one of the um, fast tutorials out there for DayZ because I know there's not much, there's not many good tutorials that just go straight to the point. So. First of all, I don't know if you're using Daisy Soul Launcher or the normal, uh, the normal official launcher, but whatever you use, these launch commands are valid. So there's three launch commands you want to use. If you're using the Daisy Soul Launcher, you can just uh, hit no splash, no pause, and uh, no benchmark. So the first uh, launch option is use all available cores. The second one is high, and the third one is Windows XP or Win XP. So you, I'm gonna put this in the description. Just copy it, paste it in additional parameters in the Daisy Soul Launcher. Or if you are using the normal uh, Daisy Launcher, just right-click on Steam Daisy, uh, then go to Launch Options and just paste them in. Close it and run your game, and you're gonna be fine. But uh, there's something different in this tutorial that I wanna show you, and it involves using your control panel. If you're using Nvidia. Uh, you're gonna want to, you're gonna want to go to, um, or at 3D settings and the first option, which is adjust image settings with preview. Um, select the second option here. Use the advanced 3D image settings. Then uh, just press take me there. Now over here, this is very important. You want to change a few settings. So the f most important settings here to minimize your uh, input lag. Uh, use this low latency mode. This fix my um, input lag. Just turn it on ultra. Now notice this is like a controversial thing because uh, if you have a weaker graphics card, it's gonna be, it's gonna cause you to have less FPS. But you shouldn't look at it like that because you're gonna have less input lag. So the F less FPS that you have is the real FPS. Is the FPS that your CPU and your GPU can handle. Uh, at no latency, so no um, no input lag. But if you choose to turn this off, you may have 10 or 20 more FPS, but it's like fake FPS. You have that FPS, but like your latency or your input is there, uh, your input lag is there. So turning this to ultra is gonna definitely help you with the PvP and just moving around in general and um, playing the game. So that's first option. The second option in your uh, control panel is um, OpenGL rendering. Okay, that we're gonna put that on that. But this 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 option is very important. So power management management mode. Instead of holding it uh, at optimal power or adaptive, just press on prefer maximum performance. That's the best you can do. Now this is as well important shader cache size. So I have very good PC, very good CPU and GPU, but I had stuttering in my Daisy. So I fixed this by turning this to disabled because I have a HDD. Now listen, if you have SSD, uh, you might want to put this to driver default or at least five gigabytes because it's gonna uh, instead of compiling the, sh the shaders every time. Uh, when you walk into a city or something, it's gonna store them to your SSD and it's gonna load them. But but, but because we have some of us have uh, HDDs, and HDDs are way slower than SSDs, so it's gonna cause like stuttering when you're entering a town or whatever. So just disable it. Now let's go next. Tre um, a threaded optimization. This is gonna use uh, more cores on your CPU, so just enable it. Uh, it's gonna add a lot of FPS if you have a multiple core CPU, like me. Uh, Trinilear optimization, you can turn that on. Um, everything else, vertical sync, turn that off. Triple buffering, De depends if you have... Um, I mean, this is for OpenGL ap applications anyway, so this doesn't matter. I'm going to turn it off. Um, yeah, I think that's all over here. Now, just go apply. That's important. Don't forget to apply the settings, obviously. Then go to configure surround physics. Now, you want to select your physics settings processor to NVIDIA GTX or whatever graphics card you have and then you're gonna have an option here to apply so apply that 
and then just close it off now the third thing you want to do is open your documents so basically just go to uh, documents then go to uh, go to daisy now this is very important go to your profile uh, open your um, whatever your PC name is my na PC name is SKO here so it's gonna be your name your PC name here underscore settings so open that up with a notepad or notepad plus plus like I am here so uh, this option is very important and very annoying you wanna turn this to zero it's gonna be 30 by default just put it at zero open your documents so basically just go to uh, documents that means then go to uh, go to daisy now this is very important go to your profile uh, open your um, whatever your PC name is my na PC name is SKO here so it's gonna be your name your PC name here underscore settings so open that up with a notepad or notepad plus plus like I am here so uh, this option is very important and very annoying you wanna turn this to zero it's gonna be 30 by default just put it at zero now the next one is the head bob we can turn that to zero as well uh, sensitivity if you if you cannot if you cannot uh, adjust your sensitivity in the game like if you like low sensitivity like I do you can just adjust it here to even lower sensitivity I did 18 you can just like type like 18 like that and it's gonna work save it uh, I wouldn't play with this because this is your in-game options you can just do it from the in-game like lowering everything in the game I uh, like that doesn't make too much difference like the most difference in-game settings do is the object detail uh, setting that's the only setting you want to put on low or poor uh, to improve your FPS everything else is like meh, depends so that's the most important options you want to have on your DZ uh, as far as I know because I've investigated a lot a lot on the internet about daisy lag and and uh, from my own experience this is what helped me the most I the, the window is like the win XP launch command the use all available cores helps a lot as well as uh, with the stuttering the, the, the uh, Nvidia control panel helps a lot and yeah I hope you guys get more FPS on your game and hopefully you can get more quality quality gameplay and kills and just enjoy the game but my advice is if you really care about your daisy experience uh, save up some money and upgrade your CPU your GPU and add some quality RAM because people often use like like they buy top tier CPUs top tier GPUs but they buy the shittiest possible RAM there is and obviously your CPU is limited to your RAM memory so if you want your ultimate expensive CPU to run optimally optimally oh my god this word you really 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 need to buy some uh, high frequency uh, uh, low latency uh, RAM at least like 16 gigabytes yeah so yeah i hope you guys enjoy uh, enjoyed this video please thumbs up comment and like and share the video whatever and also a subscribe is a subscribe means a lot to me so thank you <coughs> hello guys welcome back dimitri here today i want to show you again how to speed up your day z I made a video about a year ago, maybe one and a half years ago, uh, and in that